Hi everybody, this is the Real Estate Review with RadPad. What's a RadPad, you ask? A RadPad is a fast, affordable, modular home. And I am here with Todd Devin. Hi y'all. He is with? Emerald Investment. Emerald Investment. Here in Nicaragua. Here in Nicaragua. And he is a local real estate agent. With how, how many years experience do you have? Um, well, I've been here in Nicaragua for six years, full time, six years here. but uh, my experience is real estate back in the States. I'm a licensed broker uh, currently in California. I've been a licensed realtor and agent since 1994. 94? 94. 94. when I was a little baby. That's almost 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've uh, he obviously has some expertise and he's here to highlight some of his listings for us. Um, and talk a little bit about Nicaraguan real estate, ins yeah, and outs, sure, that absolutely. kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I, I've been here before and I brought you a couple of interesting kind of unique listings and I just took another unique listing last week and so that's the one I'd love to talk about today. Okay. It's a farm, a working farm. It's four manzanas. Well, now, what, what's a manzana? So a manzana is roughly 1.7 acres. 1.7 acres is a manzana. So you're talking so about one, two, three, four, like six acres. Six acres. Of working farm. Is it flat, all flat, or it's, is it slope? It's flat and a gentle slope. And the okay. gentle slope adds to a great feature, which we can touch on in a minute. But okay, that, all but right, the, the land I'm excited. Is <laughs> the land is actually planted with 7,500 banana and platano trees. 7,500 banana and platano trees. Right, and so those right now are blooming and the owner is getting ready to harvest them and anticipates that his harvest will net anywhere between 20 and $30,000, which is a substantial per, chunk of change. Per harvest. Per now, harvest. now these, these banana trees, I, I, I'm a little confused. Do they only grow, do you have to cut them down between each time they sprout more bananas? Do you know? I mean, I, I don't know. You're I a real estate know. expert. I don't know if you're I'm a banana expert. I'm not a banana expert, expert <laughs> but I do know because he and I were talking about it, that uh -huh. the banana trees will bloom for several seasons before you need to replant them. Okay. All right. So it's not a yearly thing that you have to cut them. Every I don't know. Maybe you have to cut them and they grow back each year and, and fruit, but you know, it's something that they're going to grow. So you don't have to go through the, the work of planting a new crop every year like you would with beans or rice or, you know, get out there and till the soil. Uh -huh, so right. to me, it seems like less labor intensive farming experience. So if you want to farm, but you don't want to have to like get out there <laughs> on a daily break basis. Break your back. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the pl pl for people that don't know, there's a difference between a platano yes. and a banana. Right. Bananas are bananas as we know in the United States. You United, eat them, they're yeah, small, they're yellow. Sure. Now the platanos are bigger, bigger right? and, and heavier and starchier and they're they're served a couple different ways here right so they're when they're when they're mature maduro right they're sweeter like a banana oh okay i didn't know they can get sweet yeah, never, oh, yeah. Okay. so sometimes you know and you go to breakfast here and they'll give you maduro which is like the slice of the platano right and it's actually really kind of caramelized now that's sweet. A, that's a platano and that's a oh, platano. See, i always yes. thought that was a banana mm. ah learn something new every that's day that's a plantain yeah a plantain that's okay a um, and then the other way is when it's green, when it's not ripe at all. Right. And uh, they fry them and make tostones. Tostones. It's like they like just kind of smash them and then fry right. them in the water. Right? Which I love. Them oil. I, do you like them? I, I don't actually. So, okay, wait. Yes. Because I didn't like them when I first moved here either. Right. It took a little time and now I love them. I actually Why? like Why? Did you just grow and did you adapt? You adapt. Okay, I'm well, ready. I'm well, ready to adapt. I've got an open mind. You. Got yeah, an, open an open mind. mind. Because it's a it's a major food source here for the yes, locals, right? Is. I mean, yes, they keep is. a long time and they transport really easy. And, and they're inexpensive. And they're as inexpensive. Well. So yes. Okay, so it's got sure. bananas. Platanos. Plantains. And then he has five hundred other types of trees growing. Wow. I mean, a long, long, long list. You can see it in the listing. We'll post the listing. Do you know you what kind are they? Just random fruit trees. Oh, I mean, uh, he, he's, he's got citrus trees and um, other local fruit trees that I can't think of off the top of my head, but I have a whole list on the wow. website. So, you know, things more for your enjoyment, not for the actual harvesting of the farm. Right, okay. 
But what's really cool about this property is it's got a converted bus on the property. Converted to live in. bus. Yes, it's like an old school bus. It's really cool. It's got a kitchen in it, solar powered. But he's got outbuildings as well, an exterior kitchen, exterior So does it does, bath. It, does it actually run the bus? I mean, can you drive it or is it just? Parked? I think you could still. I think you could still drive it. So you could live your hippie fantasy. You can live your hippie fantasy. Excellent. But this land is beautiful. Uh -huh. and it's Here outside of Rivas. Okay. And it's got a great view of the lake and Ometepe Island. Ometepe Island, which are the two volcanoes. The two volcanoes. Beautiful. I mean, it's yes. just a spectacular view like none you'd ever seen. It's really amazing. Yeah, exactly. And so, I, I, and so on this, on this, there's plenty of space here to build your own house. So if you aren't quite into hippie lifestyle, right? Um, and don't want to live in a converted bus, yes, then you yes. can build your own house here. And put your guests in the hippie bus. And put your guests in the hippie bus. There you go. Rent the put hippie your bus. Put your hippie guests in the hippie bus. Put your AirPad or your Airbnb guests uh, there. You know, it's a quirky ooh, thing that yeah. people would oh, love yeah, to come out yeah. to a working farm uh -huh. and, and stay. And in you can put them to bus. work. Yes. Oh, get yeah, them sure. to work, well, cut the plantains and, and then Maybe can, you get your friends to work yeah. and not your paying Airbnb. No, no. So you get the paying people to work. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a Huckleberry Finn, right? He got everybody <laughs> to paint the fence and they paid him. So. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, and this would go great with a rad pad too. Right. Just a nice little modern rad pad out there overlooking the lake and Ometepe and your own working farm. What's really great about this property is it could qualify you for residency in Nicaragua. If you're someone who's looking to invest and live here, um, this could be your intro into actually purchasing the property, which is owned by a corporation, and meeting the minimum income or a minimum investment threshold to apply for residency. Okay, so that's important. There's a corporation that's set up. Yes. And if you come here and you want to get residency, as Todd was saying, one of the requirements, or one, one of the there's ways, three to ways to get residency okay. here. One of them is it, as an investor. As an investor, if you're investing, you have to have a certain percentage investor, right? I so think. you have to invest at least thirty thousand dollars. Okay. Um, and that has to be in an actual business. You can't just come here and buy a piece of land and say, I invested. It has to be a business. Well, this farm is a, a, a working business, so okay. it would qualify you. Okay. There are two other ways that you can uh, obtain residency. One is pensionado, which is retirement. Right. I, I've heard, I heard that's difficult to do. I, I think that if you, if you go to the right person to help you uh -huh. and not try to do it on your own, it's not difficult. Like anything here, right? Yes. If you meet the requirements. Right, okay. Um, there's a wonderful retirement uh, consultant named Patricia Sanchez. Mm -hmm. And then there's another attorney named Paul Tipper. Both of those people are great in residency if you have any, any questions or want some advice or help. Not a residency expert, I just know the basics and okay. I know what I've been through. Okay, great. We're going to put his contact information down in the description. So if you have any questions about attorneys for getting residency, sure, they can reach absolutely. out to you? Absolutely. Yeah, and he'll happen to pass on the information, uh, right? Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. And then, uh, but just and then, there's a third way of obtaining residency, which is rentista, um, which is basically that you have income coming in every month. Okay. At least twelve hundred and fifty dollars, and that can be through an annuity or a work contract. Um, and there's you know other things involved. So okay, okay. So but buying a piece of land like this, that's got it. That's got an active SAR, an active corporation that owns active it. Active corporation. You're basically buying the corporation. That's your first step and a major step into doing this. So not only will you have your kind of dream, farm, land, working thing, income coming in, a place to live, a place to build another house, you're on the way to residence. Okay. And, and as far as the rad pads go, it's got like six acres, so you could do like little clusters if you, you want. Yeah, no, that's one of the reasons I wanted to bring this, because uh -huh. I thought it was a really cool idea for rad pads. Fantastic, yeah. Oh, yeah. and it comes with a bonus 2005 Helux, so, which is a truck. Helux is yep. a truck down here. Transportation. What, probably the most popular car here, right, right? right? You see them all over the place, yes. they're durable. Yes, they're, so really they're, it's a, they're whole a Toyota, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah they're a Toyota. You can't, you can't get them in the States, but no. you can get them down here. Yes, yeah. exactly. They're, they're a very durable, very durable, durable machine. Yeah, oh, for sure. You can beat them up and they're four-wheel drive and they can get you through the mud and, and all of that. Right, but, right. Um, so you've got everything here and it's at, uh, priced at $119,000. $119,000. Now, you, can you get a loan? 
You cannot get a cannot. loan. It's, okay. Yeah, it's not going to be loans down here are are not something that foreigners can can get from a from a bank. Okay. Uh, most deals down here are cash or owner financing. So okay. you can always approach an owner about financing a portion of the sale. Okay. A lot of them are very amenable to it as long as you've got a sizable down payment mm -hmm. and you're going to pay it off within a few years. Mm -hmm. You don't really see 10, 15, 30,000 no. dollar or no, 30 no year 30 year mortgages, year mortgages here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, people want things a little bit quicker. Okay, good, good. Anything else about this property that we need to know? No, I just I think you should check it out on the website. The pictures are really fun. Um, it's a really unique opportunity. You don't have something that's like a full package just ready to step in. Uh -huh. um, and it's in a great location. It's, it's right here outside of Rivas. So you've got all of the amenities that you need and you're only half an hour away from the beaches. Okay. Across the lake from Ometepe, there's lots of fun things to do here, but it's very pastoral, very relaxing, very beautiful. Perfect. Spot. And if you've got any more questions about information, please contact Todd. Contact me. All of his information will be down in the description. Why don't you give us your phone number, Instagram, real quick? So, phone number here in Nicaragua is 505 7533 5812. I also have a US line that rings here, which is 619 313 7313. You can find me on Instagram at Selling Nicaragua. And then Emerald Investment website is nicarealtors.com. And those phone numbers, which one's what WhatsApp? They both are. Both are. Both are. This guy is available. I'm connected. He's available. I'm He's professional. You, He's got sure. experience. He's gonna steer you in the right direction. So if you've got any questions, please call Todd. You have any questions about manufactured homes, you can check us out at the Revis uh Sinsa parking lot where we've got a manufacturing facility over there or uh, direct message us. We'd love to talk to you and uh, until, until next, next time, time, have a great day. See ya. Bye.